What's going on there guys, my name is Matt or Chewy as most of you all know me as and bringing you today another prepared video and today we are going to be looking at the Realism Shader Pack version 0.9. If I just bring up the readme for it, this was assembled by Predrak Drawback, aka Simhead. You can go and find all of his details there. He's got a YouTube page, a Facebook page as well. And there are also other people who have come up with things. Eddie Butcher here from VR Creations has created the reshade um, preset and uh, various other people as well who have helped out. So um, big thank you to those. They get all of the credit for this shader pack. Um, I didn't have... I I didn't have any kind of um, input on creating it. All I'm doing today is showing you guys how to install it and how to get it working in prepared because um, I showed it off on my live stream for the first time yesterday and I had a lot of people asking me how to do it and uh, they seemed to get confused when they downloaded it themselves and so I thought I would show you all um, what I did anyway to get everything installed. Um, just to kind of give you some previews of what your simulator may look like. This is what mine looked like. It may look different, of course, on your settings and on your rig and everything like that. Um, but this was a flight that I did um, yesterday night just to test these shaders after I installed them from OMDB, uh, which is Dubai, of course, to YSSY, which is Sydney in Australia. And so here I am on finals to 3 4 left. We've got another picture of Orbex Australia and the haze in the background that you can see with the sky colors, which are all new. Uh, we've also got the view. This is when I turned my computer on. In, well, I turned the, the monitor on in the morning after the 12 hour flight um, and woke up over Australia with these sky colors and this you know crazy texture look to it all in the morning and then here also as well is my departure from omdb the evening before with the haze everywhere and you can see the sunset in the background so that is what my simulator looked like after i installed all of this um i haven't got a preview showing you the simulator like a video or anything but i thought i would just start off the video with some screenshots to show you hopefully what you can start to expect again whether you'll get the same results as myself or not i cannot guarantee and just as a disclaimer before we do anything else i will not be providing any support uh, in the youtube comments for this i will try and respond to comments but i will not be responding to um many questions on what i need to do to fix things and how do i fix it and how do i fix that all of the information can indeed be found online um and uh, i will be just there for years and years and years i think if i try and help everybody with individual issues so um as much as i enjoy helping people and i do want to help out uh, I am going to prevent myself from doing so on this video too much. Otherwise, as I say, I could be here for years. So the first thing that you need to do is there will be a link down in the description to download the ultimate realism pack there's a drop box here and so you can literally just click download on it and download it all once you've downloaded it it will um, come as a dot zip file so a lock dot zip file and all you need to do is unzip it so i've just named a folder i've got like in my um, in my d drive i've got a p3d folder and i just renamed i just made a new folder called realism shader pack version 0 0.9 and in there is all of the information so you've got some screenshots here again um you know some really nice screenshots showing you what the simulator can look like and uh, yes it does look very 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 much like this indeed so there are some more screenshots for you there and here's everything you need so this is all you need now the first thing that you need to do and the most important thing that you need to do throughout this entire process is look at the readme this is like your bible for the ultimate realism pack this is your bible please as again another huge disclaimer do not um, go away from the readme and try and do your own things do it in a weird order do it in a different order than what it says on here because you run the risk of really messing something up so uh, I, I'll leave you guys to read all of that. You guys can read all of the information. I'm not going to highlight all of that now. I'm literally here to show you step by step what you need to do. And the first thing that you need to do, as it says, is the very safe thing of creating backups for your sky textures. So uh, your sky textures are located in your prepared folder, version 3, and then texture. Uh, I've already got a backups folder here again. So just in that P3D folder that I showed you earlier on where I've got a lot of the things that I install. You can see Top Cat and all of the other bits of software that I use. Um, I go back into backups here and then I've just um, basically copied my texture folder from my P3D folder just so I've got the original one. You also need to do the same with the shaders HS, uh, HLS, uh, sorry I can't speak, shaders HLSL folder. So I've done that as well and got all of the original installation files there. And then finally the sunEffect.cfg which will be located in your C drive, then program data, Lockheed Martin, 
and then prepared version three and you can see i've just got the cfg file there so you need to back all of these up because if anything goes wrong then you will always be able to go back to the original state it should all show, also be noted now that as the installation readme says, be sure that you have the original untouched shader files in HLSL. So if you've already made um, edits to any files within your H shaders HLSL folder, um, it will not work properly and you will need to restore the original files. I will not explain how to do that. There is a video for it, uh, which I will link again down in the description. And it's also actually linked down here, which we'll go into in a bit more detail. So now after you have um, backed up all of the files, we can actually get started um, with going into things. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is to open the PTA tool and open the preset. There are two presets which are included. If you want to download PTA, all you have to do is uh, scroll down to the bottom and you can see PTA tool web page. So you just copy that link and paste it into your browser. Um, here, or, sorry, here it is now. So this was this will be the page that opens up for you. Now there's one really cool thing here is that there is a 30 minute video. So as I said, if you do need to uninstall any textures and anything like that, this video shows you everything. This is the Bible video version. So there is a 30 minute video here showing you what you need to do. There are, um, you know, little um, tutorials on here on the features, the requirements, the how to install, how to uninstall, lots and lots and lots of important information on the PTA website. So you've got the video there. And then if you want to actually download PTA itself, it's found in the top right hand, uh, sorry, the top left hand side of the screen, even just above the donate button download PTA for prepared version three and that will download for you. I've popped mine into the realism shader pack folder that I made earlier on and here is PTA. So simply open it up. Um, I, I get this issue and I don't know quite what it is. Again, sometimes it can be a bit temperamental and you may have errors that come up on the screen. I found that when I click yes, um, files delete and I have to replace them into folders again. And if I click no, then it doesn't. So I'm not too sure about that. I'm just gonna click no and then here you are with the tweak uh, assistant there are plenty of things you can do and each of them comes with pictures so you can have a look and see and change all of the settings for the clouds lighting terrain water hdi fx aa p3d configs there's just so much stuff it's absolutely unreal again that 30 minute video that i showed you uh, earlier on this one here um, shows you all of these settings a bit more in depth and you can even copy the settings that the person who's created this video has done meaning that you can get the exact same setup as them if you want to just have the uh, the preset which comes from uh, predrags uh, realism shader pack 0.9 though all you need to do is you'll see here that there's the pta tool presets is go preset open and then find the pta tool presets folder and then install which one you want there's two options and there are screenshots of both so you can choose which one you like and we'll just go with the normal haze one and you can see down the bottom in the log here it says preset uh, realism shader pack pta tool presets pd normal haze ini has been loaded so once that's loaded you all you need to do is click apply preset now Again, as another disclaimer, there is a chance that some people will have errors. This is one here just telling me about a backup that I don't have the original cloud.fx file in here. You, there is a chance that you will get an error in here. Or I'm not going to, this is the thing that I'm not going to be providing support for because I could be here all day if I do. You need to source what that error is and work out how to fix it using the website, using the readme files um, and using uh, any other help that you can. I, I, I had one person who I helped out with just a single error on that and it took us three hours to troubleshoot it. I'm not saying it will do the same for you, but it just kind of gives you my reasoning as to why I can't help everybody if you do have an error in here. Hopefully somebody in the comment section will be able able to help you out though but that's fine for the p3d tweak assistant the pta tool now that you've loaded in the preset that's fine if you do want to change anything you have all of these settings you can mess around with and try out and spend time uh, you know doing different things with and then you just apply the preset and you are good to that so that's the p3d tweak assistant done with let's close that down then and have a look and see what the next stage is the next stage is to copy the sky textures from the sky folder to p3d textures so we backed up this the texture folder earlier on as i said from our original p3d install location and now we want to overwrite those ones with the sky texture so you've got all of these in here and you literally just uh, select the first um file 
scroll right down to the bottom right, hit shift and then left click so you select all the files, copy them and then find wherever your Lockheed Martin prepared version 3 and texture folder is and then just paste them into here. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it, but just paste them into here, there. Um, you'll be asked if you want to rewrite uh, all of the information and, and overwrite the, the, the files and replace them. And of course you want to click yes to all of those. And this is why we have that backups folder. So if for whatever reason you want to go back to the originals, you can just pop them back in there like so. So that's the sky textures installed now. Let's go back to where we were beforehand. There we go, we're back in the realism shader pack. So that one is quite easy to install. And then the next one to do is to find the sun mod that you like and copy the sun glow x.bmp to prepared version 3 texture. So uh, let's have a look. Sun here, we've got three different options. It comes with screenshots for each of them. So there is number one. Oops, sorry, I clicked on number three. There is number three even, and then there is number two. Personally, I went for number one, so I just clicked on the folder with number one. And then, as it said in the README, you want to put sunglowx.bmp to prepared version three textures. So again, exactly like we did with the sky textures, just copy, find your Lockheed Martin prepared version three and texture folder, and paste it into there like so. Now there's one more file that you will have spotted, the sun effect file, and uh, that one needs to be popped into, let me find it, sun effect into program data Lockheed Martin prepared version 3. So again, we did create that backup earlier on of the original one, and now we are replacing it with a new one. So I, I might as well do it for you. So copy, and then into C drive, program data, scroll down, Lockheed Martin prepared version 3 and then pop it into there. Again, it will ask you if you want to replace it because there's the original one in there and you do want to do that. But I don't need to do that because I've already installed all of this. Brilliant. So we are getting on now. We are almost there. Not too much left to do. Um, let me have a look and see. Copy the P3D from the reshade folder. Ah, yes. Okay, now now we're getting into the reshade section of things, which is the final stage uh, pretty much. And it's just a tiny bit confusing. So listen in huddle in children and listen in because this one can be a little bit confusing if you don't follow all of the steps straight away. The first thing you are going to want to do is download Reshade version 1.1. Again, there is a link for that down in the readme and I will also leave a, uh, a link to it in the description of this video as well. And uh, all you need to do is open it up. It will come as a media fire download page and you just need to download it. So I think I should already have it. Where did I install it to? Ah, there we go. Yeah, so reshade version 1.1. Now, uh, in the realism shader pack thing, there is a, uh, where is it? I can't remember where I've popped it. Now, let me just have a look and see on here. See, this is the thing, like, it can get confusing because these things, there's so many things to do. Ah, yes, of course. Here we go. So, there's another folder here that we've not touched so far called the reshade the preset what you need to do with this and again this is really important that you keep an eye on is to copy it and then go into where you've installed uh, reshade version 1.1 then click reshade then click personal files and then click presets and paste that into there I think actually what you need to do sorry I've got this very slightly wrong it's only a little thing if you go into reshade preset there's another folder called p3d so select that p3d folder then uh, we'll go back to reshade version 1.1 reshade personal files presets and just paste it into that folder and that means that when you open the reshade version 1.1 software you can access the presets which have already been created for you if you do get confused by this again all of these steps that i'm speaking to you now are in text in there now when you uh when you've done that you can open the reshade version 1.1 software called mediator and it will come up with this quite cool little orange and black um uh, little bit of software and it will again give you all of the directions on what you need to do here so it tells you to open the reshade mediator and add prepared.exe now the way that you add the prepared.exe is in the bottom left hand corner here you see the delete button a drop down menu and add just click the drop down menu oh, sorry just click the add menu and then uh, say I'm on my computer here, I go into um, Lockheed Martin where I've installed Lockheed Martin, your main install folder. And if you scroll all the way down, pretty much there it is, you'll see the prepared.exe and you just need to open that basically. I've already got it in Mediator again because I've done this process before. 
And then the next thing you've done once you've found the EXE is to click the button direct 3D 1011, which is what prepared uses. Once you've done that, you are going to need to um, move over to here. I can't do it at the second uh, because uh, it's not selected for me just because I've already done this process, I believe. But you've got three drop down menus here. And this is where it says the preset folder location. Let me just see if I can do it. Yes, okay, I can, that's fine. So you'll see the preset folder location. Now this is where we put that P3D folder a few minutes ago. I know you're probably sitting here with your mind boggled right now, don't worry. That's why I'm trying to explain things and you can watch this video over again to if you need to get to grips with things and watch it a few times. So once you've loaded in the Lockheed Martin uh, P3D EXE and selected Direct 3D 1011, you need to then select the preset folder location by going to browse. And then once again, going through all of your folders, as you can see, I've got quite a few. We found where we put reshade version 1.1 earlier. And then do you remember we went into personal files, presets and P3D and you just select the folder. I'm not going to do it now because I've already done so. And, uh, and then you've got it in there and then you just click OK and it will come up into place. And then all you need to do is click apply and mediator is done. Now, once you've uh, loaded in the simulator, it is advised to once again open up Mediator once you're in the simulator. Do this same process and then click Apply and afterwards Permanent Push to Application. It's advised to do that just to make sure that Mediator is in effect. Unfortunately, the software seems that it can uh, be a little glitchy here and there and may not work. Um, and uh, yes, uh, yeah, there we go. As Predrag says, it, it may just need a little push, the Mediator software. So if you need to repeat this process, you know what to do. It will only take a few seconds to load in that preset. And then, ladies and gentlemen, again, as Predrad said, that's it. Enjoy your new visuals. So if I close down Mediator here and move back from all of this and we go back into the um, original Realism Shader Pack file, you can see there that we've pretty much done everything. The only other thing now that we need to do is when we load up P3D, obviously you've got the settings page. When you go onto the settings page, you can find the lighting page. HDR lighting really should be enabled for this shader pack. It would be pretty useless without HDR lighting in all honesty. These are the recommendations for lighting and shadows that Predrag has. I personally tone these down just a tiny bit. So he suggests brightness 1.3, bloom 0.8 and saturation one. I move that brightness down to about 1.05, but that is just my personal taste. I also have the shadow quality on medium and the cloud shadow cast distance on 30,000 meters just to save a tiny bit of performance. How much, how many frames and everything I'm saving from that, I don't know. I'm still tweaking this myself. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. If you do want to get this there will be links down in the description for you all once again big shout out to Predrag he's been doing these shader packs for a while now he's a huge hit on the P3D version 2 and version 3 Facebook page and so thank you very much Predrag on behalf of myself and uh, my little community here for all of the hard work that you have put into this shader pack I hope you've enjoyed the video guys again you're more than welcome to leave questions in the comment section whether I'll get back to you is not confirmed but hopefully somebody else can help you out and if it's an easy question I I will do my best to help you out as well. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, leave me a comment as well. I'll see you again soon, guys. Good night.